Hi everyone. Balclutha, recognized under various names such as Star of Alaska, Pacific Queen, or Sailing Ship Balclutha, stands as a steel-hulled full-rigged vessel crafted in 1886. Emblematic of diverse commercial enterprises such as lumber, salmon, and grain, she holds significance in maritime history. Designated as a U.S. National Historic Landmark, she resides in preservation at the San Francisco Maritime National Historical Park situated in San Francisco, California. The construction, building, and launching of the ship Balclutha in 1886 is a fascinating tale of maritime history. Built by Charles Connell and Company in Glasgow, Scotland, Balclutha was one of many ships constructed during the late 19th century, a time when maritime trade was booming and ships were vital for global commerce. Balclutha was a classic example of a three-masted, iron-hulled sailing ship known as a wind jammer. With her sleek lines and towering masts, she was designed to carry cargo across the world's oceans efficiently and reliably. Her namesake is said to be the eponymous town of Balclutha, New Zealand, but her name also refers to her first home port, Glasgow, Scotland, which is a city on the Clyde, the meaning of her name derived from the Gaelic Balake law. Designed as a general trader, Balclutha rounded Cape Horn 17 times in 13 years. Construction of Balclutha began with laying down her iron hull, which was riveted together piece by piece by skilled shipbuilders. The process involved shaping and assembling thousands of individual plates and beams to create a sturdy and seaworthy vessel. The Balclutha was launched on September 2, 1886. The Balclutha was christened by Miss Agnes Connell, the daughter of the ship's builder. Balclutha's launch would have been a proud moment for her builders and owners, signaling the culmination of months or even years of hard work and craftsmanship. After her launch in 1886, the ship Balclutha embarked on a bustling career as a merchant vessel, sailing the world's oceans and carrying cargo to ports near and far. From her home port in Glasgow, Scotland, Balclutha set sail on numerous voyages, trading goods and commodities across the globe. During her early years of service, Balclutha primarily engaged in the lucrative trade routes between Europe, North America, South America, and Asia. She transported a wide variety of cargoes, including timber, grain, wool, coal, and more, contributing to the booming maritime trade of the late 19th century. Balclutha's voyages were not without peril. Like many ships of her time, she faced the dangers of storms, rough seas, and encounters with pirates. Yet, she proved to be a sturdy and reliable vessel, capable of weathering the toughest conditions the ocean could throw at her. In 1898, the Balclutha was involved in a rescue at sea. She rescued the crew of the British ship Loch Lomond, which had been dismasted in a storm. The Balclutha's crew was awarded the Royal National Lifeboat Institution Silver Medal for their bravery in this rescue. In 1899, Balclutha was purchased by the Alaska Packers Association and entered a new phase of her career as a salmon hauling vessel. She was refitted to accommodate refrigeration equipment and other modifications necessary for transporting perishable cargo. For the next several years, Balclutha played a crucial role in Alaska's thriving salmon fishing industry. Each summer, she would journey from San Francisco to the waters of Alaska's Bristol Bay, where she would load up with freshly caught salmon packed in ice. Balclutha would then transport the precious cargo back to San Francisco, where it would be distributed to markets across the United States.
In 1904, while sailing in the waters off the coast of Alaska, Balclutha struck a submerged reef, causing extensive damage to her hull. After having struck a reef off of Sitkinak Island near Kodiak Island on 16 May 1904, she was renamed the Star of Alaska when bought by APA for merely $500. The stranding necessitated immediate repairs to salvage the ship. Balclutha was towed to Seattle, Washington, where she underwent extensive repairs and refurbishment. The damage was substantial, but with skilled craftsmanship and determination, Balclutha was restored to seaworthy condition. After extended repairs she joined the salmon fishing trade, sailing north from the San Francisco area to the Chignik Bay Alaska, in April with supplies, fishermen, and cannery workers, and returned in September with a cargo of canned salmon. Under her new name, the Star of Alaska continued her service in the rugged waters of the North Pacific. Despite the challenges posed by storms, icebergs, and treacherous coastlines, she remained a stalwart vessel, earning the respect and admiration of her crew and fellow sailors. In 1911 the poop deck was extended to the mainmast to accommodate Italian and Scandinavian workers. This expansion is called the shelter deck. In the tween deck, bunks for Chinese workers were built. In 1930, the Star of Alaska was sold to the Pacific Coast Codfish Company, marking another chapter in her storied history. Renamed once again, this time as the Pacific Queen, she was refitted for the cod fishing industry. Her spacious cargo hold and sturdy construction made her well suited for the demanding task of hauling in the bounty of the sea. For the next few years, the Pacific Queen sailed the waters of the Pacific Northwest, harvesting cod and other fish species to feed hungry markets across the country. After 1933 continued to navigate through various phases of her storied history. Under the ownership of Frank Kissinger she found herself in the limelight, appearing in the iconic film Mutiny on the Bounty alongside Hollywood legends Clark Gable and Charles Lawton. Following her cinematic debut, the Pacific Queen entered a period of decline, serving as an exhibition ship while gradually succumbing to the effects of time and neglect. However, in 1954, the Pacific Queen's fortunes took a turn for the better when she was acquired by the San Francisco Maritime Museum. Under the museum's stewardship, she underwent extensive restoration efforts and was once again given a new name, Balclutha. Moored at Pier 41 East, Balclutha became a beloved fixture of San Francisco's maritime landscape. In recognition of her historical significance, Balclutha was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1985. Three years later, in 1988, she found her final resting place at Hyde Street Pier as part of the San Francisco Maritime National Historical Park. Over the years, Balclutha has continued to capture the imaginations of visitors and maritime enthusiasts alike. While she no longer sails the open seas, her presence at Hyde Street Pier serves as a living testament to the rich maritime heritage of San Francisco and the enduring legacy of the sailors who once called her home. Visitors can explore her decks, learn about her history, and even participate in the monthly shanty sing events that celebrate the seafaring traditions of old.
Thanks for watching.